See, what puts us in dissension is a double mind. James 1 and 8, are y'all with me? It talks about a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. All my life, I thought that meant that I had to have my mind on God and my mind on other things. But double-mindedness, when you study the Greek and the Hebrew, it means you have two agendas inside you. That's what it means, two agendas. So to be in dissension means I have two agendas. If the Spirit of God is inside me and I'm me, then there's a war inside about who I really am and what I can do. See, the Spirit of God is telling me that I'm equipped, but I'm telling me that I'm not. That's two agendas. That's what a double mind is. See, it doesn't mean you're crazy and running around down the street naked and talking out your head. It means I simply don't have the ability to become fully what God said I'm going to be. That I disagree with God. Therefore, I'm in dissension with him. If he said it, to get to the degree where that settles it, brings forth harmony. When you listen to singers... And they all sang the same thing. That's called unison. Most of us live in the realm, spiritually, unison. Harmony is to fulfill the call on your life without contradicting the word of God creates harmony. Y'all not ready. To move out of dissension is to create harmony. That means I don't become like everybody else. I don't have to do it like you. I don't have to say it like you. I stopped using that as an excuse. I stopped using that as a reason. But I began to flow the way God created me and we create a harmony in the earth. And that removes the dissension. I'm not in disagreement anymore because I'm moving the way God has called me to move. Are you getting this today? That's when your best life comes forward. When I'm not in dissension. I don't disagree with what God has said. It means I no longer look at my hands and judge the weight of the call on my life. I no longer look at my mind and tell God I'm not smart enough. I no longer look at my spirit and say I can't handle where you're trying to take me. That's dissension. Who are we to disagree with him? We're not smarter than him. We're not smarter than a fifth grader. You'll get that in the car. Dissension, and I'm going to pray, it's so subtle, guys. It's so subtle because it's easy to justify. Because it feels right. And we think we're helping God out and saying, I'm not going to embarrass you, God, so I'm going to just hold this place. It creates a, in our mind that we're justified not to go forward. It makes us feel like we have a liberty because we're trying to make sure God is right. Y'all better listen to me. All your little ugly habits, and sometimes it ain't even that deep. You're doing all, all the right stuff in your mind. You good to people and still going to hell because you're in dissension. I don't want to be the one to cast out demons and preach and prophesy and stand before him and he says, depart. You disagreed with what I told you, what I put on your life. I don't want to go through all that. I mean, I mean how about y'all? So we want to pray for these that are at the altar. There's some others that are still at their seats because you're in dissension. And we all know it. And the crazy thing was nothing going to work out with me until I gave him 100%. I tried to do it on the edge, and it just doesn't work. I said, I got to stop disagreeing with you. He says, you are author of this many books. I hadn't finished. I've started quite a few, and I haven't finished one yet. And I was like, God, stop. Don't give me no more. He said, you disagreeing with me? You got 30 seconds. I had a conversation with somebody last night, and I'm going to pray. And I don't want you inching up here after we pray. Don't be sneaky with God. Be bold with it. 
I told somebody last night we were talking about leadership because in our leadership this year, we're dealing with intentionality, being intentional. And so what we will be addressing, we have leadership meeting tonight. We're going to be talking about intentional transformation to change on purpose. And so when we talked about leadership, she said to me that she's not a leader, even though she's not a leader at her job, she was talking, talking, talking. And I let her finish and I said, you are a leader. She's a professor. Every semester you got new students that you have to what? Influence. Is that leadership? But it's the way we see ourselves is the way we see God in the way we see our assignment. Dissension is to disagree with where he put you. I don't like this place. I don't like this season. Disagreement. Are we ready to pray? This was the hardest decision I had to make in my life. I thought salvation was hard. I thought receiving Holy Spirit was hard. I thought saying yes to call was hard. But every day I have to make a decision not to disagree with God. Today is your new beginning. Online, this is your new beginning to agree with everything that God says. And not to be standing as if you're in agreement, but everything in you says I'm not. Don't be the child who's sitting down but standing up on the inside. That was me too. That I realize I, I, I need my best life because my best life is in you. We're getting ready to pray, people. Are you praying? I realize my best life starts with agreeing with you. And that's where we'll start. Those that are not at the altar, I need you to pray for these at the altar. Because this is one of the biggest changes in your life. This is the greatest decision that you made today. Today is a decision. They used to say, I decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Y'all young folk don't sing them kind of songs no more. No turning back. You have to make that decision today. I'm going to follow Jesus 100%. He knows best. Everything that happened in your life, he already knew it was going to happen. Father, as I stand before you at this altar, even those that are standing at home before your device or your TV, First, I ask for forgiveness for where I have disagreed with you. Sometimes I think I know what's best for my own life. Sometimes I look at myself and I judge myself based on my own strength. I judge myself based on my ideas. And I don't mean to come off that I know more than you, but I realize sometimes I do come off that way. And I make choices for my life as if you are not in control. I see where I have stepped in front of you. And for some, I've altered my destiny, gone places that you did not deem for me to go. There's some things that I've done that I didn't need to do. It wasn't necessary for my journey. There's some things that you have ordered for me to go that I have not because of my own reservations. I have put myself in this position. Nobody had made me do this. Regardless of what has occurred in my life, you're in control of that too. The good, the bad, and the ugly. But today, I align my heart with yours. Whatever you say, help my spirit to accept it 100%. I have an abundance of reasons. I have an abund abundance of excuses. I can justify easily why I cannot. But today you have opened my eyes and I make a conscious decision. I decided to walk fully in what you called me. I won't play on the edge of it anymore. I don't want part of the blessing. I want all of it. 
And I know that means stepping out and some will not follow me. Some will not agree with me and some will even come against me. But at this point, I'm willing to take the chance. You are worth the risk because I realize my best life rests in a decision I make today. I've decided to say yes to your will. I won't get stuck at what went wrong. I won't get stuck at what was supposed to happen. But I surrender today. I bless you and I honor you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, thank you for the new beginning. Thank you for the new beginning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.